So I always like to put indoor air quality in perspective and give you a little bit of information to talk about with your relative uh, contractor customers or homeowners. Um, and it puts things in perspective. And really what we need to, everyone to know, if you don't already realize it, we do spend most of our lives indoors. In fact, it's over 90% if you include time in automobiles. And uh, most often it's, you know, you hear things about the children, the elderly, and people with chronic illnesses and times of flu seasons and things like that uh, when there's, um, uh, bugs going around, uh, you most often hear about these people being more vulnerable. So um, in addition to that, we found that the EPA studies uh, found pollutant levels indoors can be five, uh, up to five times higher than the outdoors. Uh, in a lot of cases, um, you can even find it 100 times greater than the outdoor air. So really, um, it's it's by virtue of being inside, we are exposed to some indoor contaminants. And if you break it down, and this slide in particular is probably the most important uh, when you go to understand what devices, what indoor air quality devices are capable of, of taking care of, it's this slide right here that's the most important. And I would always share this with everybody, and this is where the conversation starts. Basically, there's three categories of contaminants inside our um, inside the air that we breathe, and you can break it down into thirds very easily. So a third of it's going to be germs. These are the uh, viruses and bacteria um, and living organisms. The other third are gases, uh, gases and odors. Uh, these are volatile organic compounds, okay? Uh, and the last third, this is where the allergy sufferers live. This is particulates, and most importantly, this is probably dust, dander, and pollen, um, and things that, that cause allergic reactions in allergy sufferers. So if you can remember this slide and this pie chart, you're gonna be good to go, because like I said, it's gonna give you a reference going forward for what devices are capable of taking care of. So really, I call this my growth slide. Uh, again, some other um, facts here you can you can talk about with customers. Uh, we really, as humans, we we breathe over about 3,000 gallons of air each day. Okay, in fact, children uh, actually have a little more than that uh, because their bodies are so small uh, compared to their lung size. Um, there's about 250,000 dust mite fecal pellets in a half a teaspoon of dust. So think about that the next time you vacuum. And in fact, vacuum cleaners now, some of them come with HEPA filters for that reason. So it's kind of gross, but it, that's just by virtue you know, of, of what we're dealing with. And people that have rugs, um, a lot of allergy sufferers actually get rid of rugs in their home for that reason. Um, there's an estimated 10% of the entire population is allergic to cat and dog dander. So dander is just a fancy word for skin cells. And the worst part of it is us as living human beings, we're probably our worst, the worst offenders. We actually cause, you know, uh, indoor contaminants ourselves just by, by living. And we shed up to about 600,000 skin particles every hour, which is quite impressive. So targeted groups of, uh, that have uh, or with indoor air quality issues would be people with allergies or asthmatics, uh, people with respiratory diseases, uh, those whose immune systems are suppressed due to chemotherapy, radiation therapy, uh, or diseases uh, and other causes, uh, and contact lens wearers. I was a former contact lens wearer myself, and I could always tell you when allergy season was coming because my eyes were itching. And basically, you know all these folks, uh, they're customers, they're probably friends and families, and the nice thing is you're gonna have solutions for them. So really the summary here and showing the, those few slides is, you know, exposure to the airborne contamination is considerable. As professionals in this trade, you know, we need to make sure at the very least that the mechanical system that we're servicing isn't a source of any contaminants. Uh, and really you guys, can, you can put yourself in a position um, to offer yourselves, uh, your customers some solutions here. So with that, now we can get product specific and the dust free uh, active product. I am so excited and happy to talk about this device because it will help clean the air inside of your home uh, with all three of those categories in mind that we just talked about. And a really important part of the conversation is when you're looking at different devices on the market, you know, what are they actually doing? Well, there's two categories you can classify them into, and that's passive and active. And I love the fact that Dust Free came up with the name for this product as being active because it's plain and simple. Uh, it's going to proactively go out and treat the air and surfaces. Uh, 
I always want to give you an analogy when you're trying to explain what a passive device is. It's really, it's, it's like an air filter, okay? You have to wait for the air to come to that device in order to treat the air. Think of a bug zapper. This is a really easy analogy to use. You know, a bug zapper in your yard isn't going to kill all the bugs in your yard. It's only the bugs that fly to it and actually get zapped. So think of passive devices like that. Active devices, on the other hand, as I just said, proactively go out and treat not only the air we're breathing, but surfaces as well. You guys may or may not know this, but the uh, common cold uh, virus can live on a surface for about seven days. So think of all the door handles, the computer keyboards, and remote controls that are being touched. Uh, literally, if someone has a cold, uh, potentially that virus could stick around for about seven days. And by the way, the flu virus sticks around for about 24 hours too. And that's why I always love showing this picture here uh, of the home, but we're gonna proactively treat the air and surfaces with the dust-free active device. So I love showing this picture too, because it always reminds me in explaining this and kind of taking the rocket science out of it. When you're explaining the technology to folks, basically we're going to proactively distribute friendly oxidizers out into the space. So we're killing pollutants, odors, and organisms uh, at the source. So in the air and on surface. And the picture is great because it's the same way we're recreating what mother nature does outside. I always like to, you know, point at a window or maybe sunlight coming in from somewhere. And I say, you know, the sun is the UV source shining on the, uh, the metals and the, uh, and the water in the Earth's atmosphere, and Mother Nature has a natural way of cleaning the air. I always think of thunderstorms, you know, the old saying, you can, you can sense when the rain is coming. Well, that's basically the same thing here. Mother Nature's creating fresh air, and the dust-free active is doing the same thing naturally, okay? So we're creating friendly oxidizers to go out and take care of those pollutants uh, in the air the same way that Mother Nature does. There will be, as we discuss here shortly, there's a UV lamp inside the device that shines on a catalyst on the metals in there, combined with the ambient moisture in the air, will create these friendly oxidizers to go out and take care and create fresh air. Okay, so there's two technologies we're going to talk about in the device, and the, primarily the oxidant that we're using is hydroperoxides. It's going to treat all three levels of contaminants. So remember, it's your germs, your odors, and your particulates. So again, ionization, if you're not familiar with it, if you're standing near an ocean shore or a water source or been through an electrical storm, the ionization is the same kind of technology here that's gets in this device. We're, we're actually gonna proactively send out some ions and, and cause particulate in the air to, 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 to come out of the air um, and uh, help your air filter work better. So here's really what we're talking about. We're gonna dramatically reduce the overall allergens, odors, bacteria, airborne biologicals, smokes, viruses, VOCs, pet odors, and dust within the space. Okay, just some quick features here. There's dual technology air purification. It's both um, the friendly oxidation and the bipolar ionization that's going on in here. We'll get to that in a minute. But basically, you have an auxiliary 24-volt power port in here. I'll show you that in a minute. Expanded power range. There's an LED light on the front of this thing to show you that there's power coming into it. There's a dual frequency UV lamp we're going to talk about. Super simple installation. Uh, we're going to utilize a mounting plate uh, that you can use as a template as well. Ease of maintenance we'll go over. There's some safety features. It's really just a beefy, high-quality design that comes with a seven-year warranty. So here's the first half of the technology that we want to talk about. It's photoionic oxidation. And this is really, uh, again, using the analogy about what Mother Nature does outside. This is where this UV source, there's a lamp inside of here shining on this catalyst. You'll see the catalyst here uh, in the lower left-hand picture. When that lamp shines on this catalyst, we're going to recreate what Mother Nature does outside, friendly oxidizers, the primary one being aerosolized hydrogen peroxide. Okay, So it's a quad metallic core, meaning there's four metals in this core. Uh, and I want you to remember when you're comparing to other devices on the market, we have eight times the photocatalyst surf catalyst surface area than other designs. It's basically an aluminum substrate. And the dual frequency lamp we're going to talk about in here will actually um, produce less ozone than other devices. Now, ozone is a conversation you can have. Uh, basically, any device that's electrical uh, consumes electricity, uh, like a copy machine, a photocopier, will actually you know, off-gas some, some ozone. The point here is we're not using ozone as a primary oxidizer for all those germs. It's actually just an inherent you know, byproduct of the overall process. By using this dual-frequency lamp, uh, we're actually going to produce less um, uh, ozone, if you will, versus just a standard UV lamp. 
the second half of the technology, okay, is the, is the ionization technology. And here, Dust Free is utilizing carbon fiber brushes. Fiber brushes. Um, there's 10 sets of brushes, five times the output of the nearest competitor. Basically, what we're talking about here, guys, is 2 million ion output capability. It's just incredibly, it's exponentially higher than the next guy on the market. So what this does is basically it sends off a little charge, uh, utilizing the air distribution system and all those uh, particles that you cannot see that we're breathing right now um, are, are basically light enough to float in the air. And what we want to do is when, by giving them a charge, we're going to cause those small particles to start clinging together. When they cling together, they become heavier and they precipitate out of the air. Some of them is going to go towards the air filter and help your air filter uh, work better. Uh, and some of them are going to precipitate out onto some surfaces. So you'll have to do a little dusting, which we'll come back to here in a minute. So again, this is the second half of the technology being a dual technology device um, is, is the bipolar ionization part. Uh, I, I put a little picture in here of a close-up of this port, this power port. So if you're going to use the dust-free active in conjunction with a UV light, that uh, a germicidal UV lamp in your um, air conditioning coil or air handler coil, you could do that. We give you a power source for it. Basically, it's two wires, 24 volts. Uh, you'll utilize a, the 24-volt power that's readily available there at the uh, active device. The enhanced power supply, basically what Dust Free do, has done here is beefed up uh, the ballast in here and the expanded range digitally controlled power supply. It operates at a, high, a wider range of voltage, basically from 20 volts to 29 volts. And really overall, the durability and longer life was taken into consideration here when they did this. So there's vetted uh, uh, housing as well for increased airflow to help keep everything cooler inside. As far as sizing it, you guys, it's very, very easy. There's two sizes, a six inch and a 12 inch. The six inch is suitable for systems up to two and a half tons, and the 12 inch is suitable for systems uh, three tons and larger. And not to say, you know, you could use these in commercial applications as well. So think of homes, uh, split systems, commercial split systems. Um, you know, if you go up in tonnage, up above five tons, you might actually be looking at more than one device. So don't rule out commercial applications. As far as installation, extremely easy. I'll show you a picture here of uh, the, uh, the ring, uh, the mounting plate that you could use as a template actually um, by circling this on the supply air plenum and cutting a four inch hole in the duct. The four, sheet metal, four sheet metal screws or toggle bolts if you're dealing with duct board um, to attach to the duct work. Uh, there's simple attachment of air night uh, unit via four thumb screws uh, onto the mounting plate. Super, super easy. Uh, we include a 40 VA transformer in the box for you guys to use to supply the unit with 24 volts. We do want you to wire these on constantly, so don't cycle them on and off with the blower, but yet leave them on powered 24-7. You know, very, very low power consumption, so nobody has to worry about their electrical bills going up. Uh, literally, we're talking in terms of watts here. Um, and the nice thing here is it's a nice feature. If somebody just cooked something that was really stinky or something happened in the house that caused a lot of odor, you can walk over to the fan switch on the thermostat, flick it over to the on position, and start air purifying. Really, really easy. Mounting plate is a nice durable mounting plate, uh, very, very uh, airtight with uh, gasketed seals, uh, pressure sensitive adhesive. And there's a picture of those four thumb screws or one of the four thumb screws where you mount this onto the mounting plate. So very robust. Product placement, very simple. If you can ever help it, we want you to go on the supply side or the supply air plenum to optimize the technology. If you don't have the room, which practically speaking, uh, it happens a uh, often, uh, if you don't have the room above the uh, the furnace or air handler and you need to put it on the return side, you can certainly put it on the return side. It just is a little bit of just decreased uh, efficiency, but it's still going to work just fine. Warranty, seven-year warranty on the power supply, four-year warranty on the cell, which is really important. Um, so you want to recommend a cell replacement in four years, which versus the competition, you may notice it's always two years with a lot of competitors. So we can get four years out of our cell or a catalyst and two years on the UV lamp. So basically you might want to replace a, you're going to want to replace a UV lamp in about two years time. And then in about four years time, you're going to do the lamp and the cell. Maintenance, super easy to change the uh, core. There's two little thumb screws here on the back side of the unit. Take the two thumb screws off and you'll loosen the, um, the cell assembly and you'll expose the lamp as well. So catalyst and lamp uh, replacement are super easy. There's no plastic components to wear out on.
The box is really, really nice. The packaging you're going to find is very good, really good for uh, shelves in the stores. Um, but not only that, it helps the counter guys explain the technology to the contractor and likewise the contractor to the homeowner, which is really important. So if you just read the box to someone, you'd actually understand the, the technology yourself better and it'll help you or remind you about how to explain it to uh, your customer or homeowner. So really, once you get this thing powered up, you are honestly going to sense uh, a cleaner, fresher air in the house. It's a noticeable, tangible difference. It will change the air in your home. It's uh, I love talking to people that install these and see how they let you know see what they think later on when I do see them. It's just an exciting story to tell. Uh, so what to expect this is a conversation to have with your customers so they can have it with the homeowners. What to expect in the very beginning, because of bipolar ionization, you're actually taking the sub micron particulates out of the air. And again, this is the pollens and dust and dander that uh, you know allergy sufferers are allergic to. We're removing those out of the air. And like I said before, some of those are gonna go to the air filter and some of them are gonna precipitate out on the surfaces. So this is what we want the homeowner to know. Basically within 24 to 48 hours of using and powering the device, uh, they might have to dust a time or two um, in the house. But again, what I always say is you're not, you're no, you're no longer breathing this. It's actually precipitated out on the surface.